What's going on guys? Rich Boy J here back with another video. Actually, let me adjust this so my camera isn't in the way. But um yeah, you guys know the drill. We got ourselves another Star Killer base uh turbo laser stream. I got a lot of work done on this thing this morning. It's really super close to being done. You guys can see um I mean I can't show you like the base of it. It's kind of in sections on the floor, but this is basically the top half of it. Um, there are some colors I'll need to swap out, but for the most part, it's good to go. And then here is the bottom half of it. So basically, I'm going to build up a couple of walls on this section. The top half will sit on the bottom half. And then hopefully, uh, by the end of the stream, I can show you guys what it will look like when it's mostly kind of in one place. Like I said, um, I mean, my, my workspace is super cluttered right now, so I don't have a ton of space to work with. But I'm going to try my best to show it off at the end of the stream so how's everyone doing tonight another late night surprise stream of sorts i figured i'm going to be working on this thing tonight and finishing it tonight so why not give you guys uh, a bit of an insight into what it's like to finish a big old turbo laser uh one of the things that i realized is um i'm really gonna have to like uh basically like substitute a lot of pieces um, for wrong colors for the actual cannons that stick out of it. Um, for the most part, like my collection has been super helpful with building this. Like I haven't placed any orders for this. Like everything you see today and from last night was uh, from my own collection. No Bricklink orders placed for this. And for the most part, it's uh, worked out. But there are a few pieces that I totally just didn't have nearly enough of. So. Um, Millennium Brick says, don't you have to build two of them? Yes, yes I do. Uh, for now, I just decided to build one. When my basic plan is to, my basic plan is to base, my basic plan is to uh, build one and then I'll order the whatever parts I know I need uh, to supplement the colors or substitute the, co the correct colors back into the first one. And also I'm going to place orders for those same parts for the second one. So I have a good idea of like, what I have in my collection, what I don't have in my collection. Like, having built this for the most part once now, I have a pretty good idea of, like, what parts I know I'm not going to have for the second one. Um, about how many pieces is it? I think this thing was, like, 2,300 pieces, which is ridiculous, right? Like, this is a big turbo laser. Um, so, yeah, a lot of, lot of work on this. I'm going to need two of them. I'm going to need two of these turbo lasers. Um, it's actually been kind of an interesting build, I think. There's just been... I mean, it's kind of happened in sections so far, which is always fun. And it's always nice to see stuff, I don't know, kind of come together at the very end. I enjoy builds like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and do it! I just bought 28 of the Pirate Lattices in Grey from the Falcon. Is it on Bricks and Pieces? How much did you pay? The back in the day, having 28 of those would make you a very wealthy man. How tall will it be? Um, I don't know exactly. Um, maybe like from the table, it'll be like this tall. And that's not including the cannons that stick out from it. How about if you played Forza Horizon 1, you would know about the festival. If you guys have played it, do you think mocking the festival? Um, I have no idea what the festival is. What's up, Falco? How you doing? They're only a dollar sixty seven each, that's not bad at all. Dude, back in the day that was easily like a hundred dollar piece, so that's awesome. I don't know if you mentioned it. Did you get it off of brick, bricks and pieces or did you find it on Bricklink? I mean I doubt anyone on Bricklink would have that many of those, right? What does Brickstar have? He has the parts that you bought? Or you're saying he has that many of those, like on his Bricklink store? 
What is Starkiller Base update coming out? It'll be out tomorrow, so I've been wanting to finish this for the update. I know I'm going to finish this tonight, so yeah, it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, do you think you will do any reviews for the new Star Wars sets? Yes, I've been meaning to do it. Um, it'll be out this week. I mean, I know it's going to be super late, but I, I promised people I would do it, so I'm going to keep that promise and actually do it. He has 40 of the lattices. Holy crap. I may go ahead and get those some bricks and pieces along with the uh, light bluish gray lever pieces. Uh, thanks for reminding me. I'm actually probably just going to do that tonight. Forty of those lattices. That's cool that he has so many, but like, what will you even do with that many of that? You know, like, it's a cool piece to us because we know you know how valuable it was. But when I think of like the practicality of it, I can't think of a ton of uses for a piece like that, other than just being able to say like, oh, I have a ton of this. Playing Battlefront 2 on Starkiller Base. Nice. You having fun? Only the strong last into Boil Hours. Exactly. Boil Hours is not for the weak. That's for sure. What is the great news? <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to know, like, you guys can see my uh, workspace right now. Um, do you guys' workspace get this messy? Like, it's kind of ridiculous in here right now. Alright, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad to hear I'm not the only one then. He says, my whole room looks like that all the time. Oh god. Yeah, my Lego room is a mess right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Make a custom tread speeder, nice. And what specific details do you want to add in it that maybe aren't in the set version? Your mom sold her car for a new car. She said it may or, my, or may not be my dream car. I've always wanted I'll find out tomorrow. The car will be the family car, but she said I can drive a lot. What is your dream car? Smooth and smaller. So I was looking at the pictures of it, and I don't really think it should be smaller. Like, I have um, a poster that I got, and the Lego set actually seems like it's scaled pretty well. Do you just want to make it smaller for the sake of making it smaller, or do you think that's going to make it closer to uh, minifig scale? I want to make a motorized RC Dio. You should totally do that. If I wasn't so into LEGO, I would love to get into like the R2 Builders Club and build a custom droid. Josiah says, I will clean my Lego table, and 24 hours later, it looks like I haven't cleaned it in a month. Jeez. Make a motorized battle droid. Like, cut them down like butter. So, I got two Dream Cars, 2016 Range Rover, 1967 four-door black Chevy Impala. That's very specific. Shout out to whoever just sent a super chat. Shout out to Mal again. Will Darth Matt be in the mock? Maybe even Ben Swolo. Uh, Matt the Radar Technician will absolutely be in the mock. That is for sure. I got the same poster. It just makes sense in my mind to make it smaller. But when the visual dictionary, dictionary and the movie comes out, that'll probably be when I change it. I mean, that's fine, I guess. 
I am super surprised Sphero, the company made the small BB-8 in 2015, didn't pitch in with a motorized Dio. Motorized Dio is probably a little bit more difficult than BB-8, specifically with, like, turning, you know? Have I seen Joker? No. Because my dream car is a 2014 Ford Fiesta uh, ST with a few simple mods, huh? My dream car is a Bentley Continental GT. I'm thinking um, it's my dream car that she got. She is not telling me, uh, and she and knowing my mom, that's not normal. Gotcha. My real question is the love uh, for my boyos gonna be in the box? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so glad that GIF is in Streamlabs. So which GIF did you send? I didn't even get to see it. My dream car is Lightning McQueen. Dude, Lightning McQueen is awesome. Lightning McQueen's probably the single biggest inspiration to my life. I can't wait for the second wave of Rise of Skywalker sets in the movie. I know, right? Hopefully the rumors are true and we'll actually get that trailer on Monday. <laughs> My dream car is the first order of monster trucks that go bow wow 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 wow. That's a lot of boyo memes in one message. Yeah, I know it's off topic, but how do you think the Texans are doing? They beat the Chiefs. I think Texans are doing pretty good. I have not been to Galaxy's Edge. I would love to go. I want to try to go next year. We'll see how that works out for me. Man, LED is lagging so hard for me right now. Jay, where is the boyo ghost? He's lurking in the shadows like Snoke. Stormy, why are you a Chiefs fan? Tell me now. Tell us now. If you're not with me, you're my enemy. You turn her against me. I have bought peace, justice, freedom, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? You are! I swear Anakin's a completely different person on Mustafar. Get yourself a man that can remember all these quotes. Only true boyos remember Star Wars quotes. Only the truest of true boyos. Do you read any of the new Star Wars comics? Unfortunately not. Get over here. Get over here. I live in St. Louis. We used to have the Rams. Are you no longer a Rams fan because of that? I want to work a uh, closing shift on the Sunday with Jay at a Lego store. That's a very specific shift. Why a closing Sunday shift? I'm just curious.
What was your reaction when they took Clone Wars off Netflix? My reaction was... I had no reaction. I didn't really care. One of my friends is going to build a massive display for poems that represent the Salem rich tr witch trials. I'm going to help her design it. I've done that sort of stuff before. Oh, nice. So I'm confused. Is it going to be built out of Lego? Eric M says, I would highly recommend uh, reading some of the new Vader stuff. Marvel 2016. It is so good. I've heard good things about the Vader comics. I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of over Darth Vader, if, if that's fair to say. Like, Vader's great, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I don't know. I've seen enough. <laughs> my reaction was iTunes, you may take my money. I bought like 20 Clone Wars episodes. Wow, that's some dedication. Shout out to Mal again for the $1 donation. He says, you should make a UCS Krusty Krab and upload it to Lego Ideas. Also, favorite Star Wars The Clone Wars episode. Um, I mean, they've already made a Krusty Krab. They've done two Krusty Krabs, I think. So I don't see them giving me credit for doing one. Um, favorite Clone Wars episode? I like the Ahsoka, Ahsoka and Barriss Afi arc in Season 5. When Ahsoka gets framed. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. School project, mannequins, and big stick for burning witches on. Oh, okay, I gotcha. All right, see ya, GK Bricks Lego. I like the Clone Wars arc where Garrett lives in a big city life outside the closet. Oh my god, guys. Headless ATM 6. Yep. Still chilling over there. Stormtrooper Miles likes the Reiko Hardeen episode. Reiko Hardeen. And those are some names in the Clone Wars. Reiko Hardeen, Lux Von Terry, Rush Clovis, Duchess Satine. What do you want to happen in Rise of Skywalker? I want Finn and Rey to end up together. <laughs> I know that's probably not going to happen at this point, but that's what I want. ATM6 is just an AT, AT pregnant with ATST twins. Have you seen the uh, Robot Chicken episode? No, that's not Robot Chicken. That's actually Family Guy Star Wars. Where Chris, like, opens up the bottom of an AT, AT. And he sees, like, a baby AT, AT in it. Do you like prequel bounty hunters or sequel bounty hunters more? I mean, we, don't, we haven't really seen many bounty hunters in the sequels. I guess Zori Bliss is a bounty hunter, but we haven't really seen her. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, there will be a Starkiller update tomorrow and Sunday. So tomorrow's update will show off Turbo Laser. Sunday's update will probably show off Rockwork. I think my favorite bounty hunter in Star Wars is uh, Jango Fett. A man named Tyrannus recruited me on the fourth moon of Bogdan. Imagine you're just chilling on the fourth moon of Bogdan and a man named Tyrannus comes up, starts asking you to kill people for money. It's a crazy day. I've been working on a mock. I would like you to rate it. It's not done sending you pictures. Yeah, shoot them to me on Instagram. 
Did you take Spanish while you were in school, boy, Jay? Yes, I did. I feel like all American kids will take Spanish in school at some point, right? Like, that's, that's a thing, right? Embo is pretty cool. I'm always down for a good hat. Honestly, the one thing I'd really like to see in Star Wars Episode uh, 9 is an Iggy Azalea cameo. That's probably the only thing I really would like to see. You have a D plus in Spanish? Bro. Study. Estudiar. What's wrong with you, Stormy? I know Mama Stormy raised you better than that. What is the Rocketeer? I have no idea what that is. Is she rumored to be a nine? No, I don't think she's rumored to be in it. I just want to see her in it. Which Captain Phasm any figure is better, the TFA or the Last Jedi? Uh, I guess the Last Jedi. I like the skinny frowns more than I like the big, thick frowns. If is it Cassidy's bubble lady? Oh god! I'm oh god! Only Stormy. Only Stormy. Oh my god. I do, however, feel that Iggy Azalea could bring a lot to the role of Bubble Lady. I think Cardi B could also bring a lot to the role of Bubble Lady, if you catch my drift. What's up, Owen Summerfield? How you doing, bro? Tuning in for a late night boyo stream. I should probably start this uh, time lapse. How many pieces is a turbo laser? They are um, 2,300 pieces. Actually, probably closer to 3,000 pieces each. Hey, Brian Riffs in the chat, too. What's up, dude? We got Boyo Squad coming through in full force. Stormy says, Cardi B is rumored to play Ray in episode 9. They're using Daisy as a cover-up for the reveal. Yo, that would be so dope. I mean, I love Daisy Ridley, but she's no Cardi B. I heard Cardi B is actually the Mandalorian. What's up, Owen Tomlinson? Holy crap. We got everybody pulling up. What is Ray's origin in your opinion? I mean, she's from somewhere. She got dropped off at Jakku. Her parents were filthy uh, junk traders. They sold her for drinking money. That's Ray's origin. That's not even in my opinion. That's a fact. I got a hold of that sweet episode 9 Y-Wing. I love it. It's wonderful. It is a really good set. I really like that set. And that Poe figure. Ugh. The Rocketeer is a Disney live action film from 99 or 91. Zori from Rise of Skywalker and the main villain of the hero have similar helmets. Gotcha. Are you planning on screaming a speech to us? about the fierce machine which you have built when you're done upon which you stand. 
You should definitely comment on that on that on one of the Star Killer updates. Upon which we stand. The loathsome resistance lies to the galaxy. A regime that acquiesces to disorder. Why didn't Ray's parents just drink tap water? They didn't have to sell her. That's a great question. I'm sure if Ray met her parents, she would ask them that. What's up, BFAB? How you doing, bro? You think Kylo wasn't lying. What do you mean? So did we ever figure out uh, what the funniest prequel scene was? I think I decided... Um, honestly, I think I, I'll say the funniest scene in the prequels for me is uh, that weird shot when Obi-Wan's fighting Dooku and it like zooms in on his face but it's like off center and he's like... Oh, I don't think so. Kylo is definitely lying to her about her origin. Okay, so... I don't really want to talk about this tonight, but I guess we're going to have to. Um, so, I want to disband this notion that Kylo is the one who revealed Rey's origin to her. If you go back and you watch The Last Jedi, it's when, he, when they're talking to each other, like, Rey knows what her origin is. He just spells it out for her. Like, he says... He sa like They both, like, whenever their minds were, I guess, linked together, they both saw the truth, and Kylo tells her to say it. Like, before Kylo says a word about her origin, he's like, you know, you saw it too, and then he, she's like, I'm nobody. Before Kylo says a word about what her origin is, she says, I'm nobody. That's not, like, there's no... It's not up to interpretation. Kylo elaborates it afterwards, but it wasn't like he was telling her, oh, like, I know this information that you don't know. He, like, the way that scene plays out, it's very clear. They both knew that information. Kylo is the one who just says it. So it's not a matter of, like, Kylo was telling her something she didn't know. It's not a matter of, oh, Kylo could potentially have lied about it. If you watch that scene, the way it plays out, it's very clear that both of them know the information. Kylo is just the one who says it. I find it really interesting that so many people don't get that. Like, I see a lot of people speculating whether or not Kylo lied to her. But, like, if you watch that scene, it's not a matter of lying or him revealing something to her. They both knew the truth. It says, TBH, in any case, Disney has a problem with canon consistency. I don't think that's necessarily true, but, I mean, if you want to go back through Star Wars, there are plenty of examples of canon inconsistency, and it all started, it probably started just, uh, in episode six, when they decided to make Luke and Leia brother and sister. Brian says, I love that, I love how that scene so much bro like go on say it they were nobody it's so good especially because like it shows ray knew deep down exactly like i find it so weird that people misconstrue that like the the fact that people even to this day are still asking oh like was kylo lying to her clearly shows like they didn't watch that scene and like understand what was going on there i didn't think it was particularly difficult to understand like when i watched it it was very it, the first time it was very clear to me like Oh, like, Ray knew it. Like, he tells... He says, go on, say it. And then Ray says her parents were nobody. Like, that wasn't something that Kylo told her. That was something that she said before Kylo said a word about her parents. So, I, I just... I find it weird that to this day we're still having conversations about Ray's parents. Because, I mean, it was very clear from that scene, like, her parents were nobody. And I love that. So is it possible to change it then if she learned the truth for herself? I mean, if they wanted to, I guess they could change it, but it would just be inconsistent. Like, they can do whatever they want. George Lucas made the Force microscopic organisms, you know? You can do... They can do whatever they want with Star Wars. What's up, Matt? How you doing, bro? 
Qui-Gon spinning Jar Jar when he tackles him on Naboo is the funniest prequel scene. Oh, God. Misa, speak. The ability to speak does not make one intelligent. One thing I find kind of interesting is, like, I feel like in the original trilogy, like, Yoda and old Ben have these, like, really, like, insightful lines and wisdom that they kind of employ upon Luke. Um, whereas in the prequels, like, I mean, I guess Qui-Gon has, he, he preaches some wisdom, but it's all just, like, random stuff. Like, the stuff that, like, Luke learns from Yoda, like, a lot of it is things you can kind of take with you and use in life. And it's, <clears throat> like, meaningful. <clears throat> but, like, the stuff that Qui-Gon tells, like, Obi-Wan and whoever the heck he talks to, like, it just, I don't know, it just seems so hollow compared to, like, the previous mentor figures in Star Wars. For example, like, Jar Jar's, like, Misa Speak, which was a random line to begin with, like... That's like that scene is just so weird. Like, why didn't he just randomly say that? And then Qui Gon's like, the ability to speak does not make one intelligent, which is true. But like, like what does that mean? Like, what's the like? Like, does anyone else understand what I mean here? Like, that's just like it's a true line, but it's not insightful. It's not like oh, like he just spoke some true wisdom there. And then the, the the one that, like, especially gets me is uh, whenever he's, after after he rigs the bet against Watto, after he cheats against Watto in their gambling, um, what's his name? Watto is, uh, after he, like, I guess after Watto loses the bet, uh, Qui-Gon is like, uh, whenever you gamble, eventually you'll lose. Which, once again, is a true, but, like... I mean, okay, like that, like it's just so fake deep. I guess I don't know. Um, shout out to Ryan Mettler for the five dollar dono. He says, "Misa be a like in all's use of content with mule humility <laughs> and uh, Jar Jar's face out." I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. it says in the OT, Yoda and Obi Wan are so insightful and earnest, and the things they say are so powerful. In the prequel trilogy, the Jedi are nothing but pompous jerks who act better than everyone. I mean, that's generally true, but I'm specifically talking about, like, the quote-unquote wisdom that Qui-Gon imparts to, um, everyone else, I guess. Like, take, like, the lines, you know, that, that Yoda preaches to Luke, that Obi-Wan preaches to Luke, and then compare that with, like, Qui-Gon lines. It just, I don't know, it's, it's on a different level. Whenever you gamble, my friend, eventually you'll lose. I mean, okay. What am I supposed to do with that information? He just says a bunch of obvious stuff, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. He says a bunch of obvious things that are supposed to come across as fake deep, but aren't actually fake deep. I found that Qui-Gon's greatest piece of wisdom was that there's always a bigger fish. I'll give you that one. That's a good line. It's very on the nose, considering it was literally a fish, but I'll give you that one. We are keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Beheading! In the next film, they're all generals. Qui-Gon is Captain Obvious. Whenever you gamble, my friend, eventually you'll lose. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. It's just mean, bro. But, like, do or do not, there is no try. It's genuinely philosophical and shows Luke the idea that he can do it if he has faith. Exactly. Hey, if Kylo can speak obvious by stating what Ray already knows and get away with it, so can Qui-Gon. <laughs> okay. I mean, not the same thing at all, but point taken. Rex or Cody? I'll go with Rex. He isn't a traitor.
What are you expecting for the Obi-Wan series? I honestly have no idea what to even expect from that. I'm not particularly looking forward to it. Fox or... C bro. I'll go with... I'll go with Cody. He's less of a traitor, I guess. So, what are some examples of wisdom in the sequels no one's ever really gone? I mean, I love that line until they used it to justify Palpatine. Um, I think that's a great line. I love... Um, I forget... I always forget exactly what the line is, but the line that Yoda tells Luke that essentially alludes to, like, you know, being a teacher and... I forget the, the line... Yoda's just entire exchange with Luke in The Last Jedi, I would say, is just pure wisdom. Pure, good life lessons. FN2187 or Rex. I'm taking my boy FN2187. He ain't much, but he's got it where it counts. We are what they grow beyond is beautiful. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Dude, Yoda... Like, Yoda talking to Luke just warms my heart. He says, One of the worst parts of The Last Jedi is the awful prequel-style droid humor. Like, when BB-8 shoots coins um, and pilots the ATST. that's some straight-up R2 and the prequel stuff. Um, I'm, I was fine with the... with the... Uh, him piloting the ATST. The coin thing was kind of goofy. I like the ATST thing, though. It was a good twist. Like, you're expecting for it to be DJ. You just kind of forget, oh yeah, like, bb 8s still around somewhere. I actually like that. That uh, surprise. I don't know, we don't... I don't know if I'd put that as over the top as R2-D2, like, leaking oil on super battle droids and then incinerating them... With this rocket pack. if I guess if BB-8 could suddenly fly in The Last Jedi, I'd say, okay, that's a bit much. But I don't think we saw him do anything super out of his character. Also, my favorite thing in The Last Jedi, uh, wisdom-wise, from Luke is when he talks about the Force of the Ray. Let me find the lines. Yes, bro, find those lines. How excited are you for The Mandalorian? I am super excited. I have a question. Did any of you guys buy anything from the Disney store over uh, Force Friday weekend? Imagine BB-8 flying. That's a great question. Where would BB-8's thruster be? I don't know. Maybe he'd have some like random flap that would open. I want to get the ATSC and Death Star Cannon, but the Mandalorian set was sold out. Had to go back a few days, a few days later. Yeah, those sets sold out like really early. I don't know why. The scene with Ray's first lesson didn't really have wisdom in the traditional sense, but I still enjoyed Luke acting like a nice, calm teacher instead of always having grumpiness issues. Are you just saying when he asked her to reach out to the Force? I thought that was really good in just reestablishing the Force as something mystical and once again, not midichlorians. At least R2 flying in the prequels pays off in the complete saga. <laughs> I guess. That's, that's a fair point. 
That is a fair point, I guess. They should make C-3PO fly in episode 8. Just because. He says, and this is a lesson. That force does not belong to the Jedi. To say that if the Jedi die, the light dies is vanity. Can you feel that? I'm dying. The scene is so good. I'd say that's some good Luke wisdom. Burnt my phone today. Screen is smashed. You can see the insides. Jeez, how'd you do that? I don't know, Owen. I, to trivialize that scene to you reach out with your uh, head, not your hand, I, that's an oversimplification. Like, that's a very small part of that scene. Ball Boyo 8. What does BB-8 stand for, guys? What are we gonna What are we gonna agree on that BB-8 stands for? Basketball eight. Boing boing eight. Boyo boyo eight. I dropped it on the kitchen tile. It still works, but I can't put it in my pocket. Ah, that sucks. Big ball eight. <laughs> Big ball. That's what they call me. Big ball. Imagine being a Jedi. The one they call Big Ball. Biggie Ball 8. Bow wow wow wow. Bow wow 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 8. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I do also just want to say thanks to everyone who is uh, staying up with me tonight while I'm doing this. I appreciate you guys' uh, company. What's up, Daniel Prelesnik? How you doing, man? Brat, brat. Brat, brat, eight. BB-8, b <laughs> My favorite Ray line in all the sequels is BB-8, hold on. We're going low. BB-8, hold on. We're going low. My other favorite line in uh, episode seven is, move ball. Jay, you're reminding me how much I adore the story, writing and performances, everything about episode nine. I, I miss, you mean episode seven, right? Or episode eight. It's not episode eight, right? And it's my pleasure. I will always make it a point to spread the joy of the last Jedi. Wow, wow. Oh snap, my boy Trevor sent me some progress photos of the police gunship. Give me a sec, I can check those out. BB-8, hold on. We're going low. The droid stole freighter. My fave episode eight line is Nada Dud Do 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 Me to Lift. Did I miss that? I'm so confused right now. Why am I confused in the club right now? Jay, do you think Kylo cares about Rey not in a real way, but kind of friendly's understanding because both their parents failed them? I don't know. I think if it came down to it, Kylo's just more concerned about 
what he can get out of her. Billy Bobby. Would you watch a show about a character that is a Jedi living on the very bottom levels of Coruscant and making his way up to the top of Coruscant? I mean, I guess, because I like Coruscant, but that seems like a pretty simple premise. Like, what's stopping him from just going up, you know? And I'll drop my weapon. That was such a fun scene to watch for the first time in theaters. Do you remember? Boyo Farms remembers. DJ asking Finn Rose. Oh, that was stuttering. Okay, I totally, like, that flew right over my head. Okay, I got you. My favorite part of The Last Jedi is the fact that um, DJ calls Finn Big F. Bombat 8, I love it. TFA or TLJ? I'm going with T uh, uh, TLJ. Are you a fan of the Old Republic game? I've actually never played the Old Republic, but I've played um, Knights of the Old Republic, and that's like one of my favorite games ever. Yeah, I'm glad we got a DJ fake. It would have been nice to get his hat, but, you know. Honestly, I might just display DJ on my wall with a backwards uh, First Order hat. Boyo Bon Terry 8. I love it. I'm fine with the mini fig detail. I just wish it had his hat. He needed a custom hair piece with his hat. <laughs> BB-8. Did I play Republic Commando? Um, I never owned the game. I played it at a friend's house. <coughs> And it was very hard. In DJ's head, Finn is technically Big Finn. Exactly. The Alenium system, that's the one. Alenium system, that's the one. The Alenium system. Alenium. The Alenium system. And thank you, uh, Intergalactic Alien Society. Oh, maybe BB-8's little fire thumb from uh, the Adelinium system scene is how he'll fly. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. I've seen that meme, uh, Brian. What does FN stand for in FN2187? I have no idea. It stands for... Felucia... I don't know. Have you met any of the cast of any Star Wars movie? The only Star Wars person I've actually met... No, I haven't met any of them, actually. <laughs> um, I was at a convention, and um, there are a few people from Star Wars there. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, oh, God. This is awful. He played Chewbacca. Holy crap. I don't know how I can't remember his name. Um, but I, I saw him... 
Uh, Ray Park was there, and Jessica, Jessica Henwick was there. She plays Jess Pava. Functional Mormy 2187. Am I familiar with Solid Bricks uh, Studios Mandalore Mock? Yes, I am. Peter Mayhew, that's it. Peter Mayhew, that's the one. I don't know how I totally drew a blank on that. Streaming is very stressful, guys. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You gotta remember stuff. You gotta be entertaining. It's not for the for the weak. Alenium system, that's the one. FN 2003, he was the stormtrooper who died in Bloody Finn's helmet. Yep. You didn't meet Darth Maul. It was so funny, too, because the weekend during that convention was actually the weekend Solo came out. So, like, if you go back and look at, I guess, last year during May, um, I did a uh, crate update from a convention. And that convention is where Ray Park was. And it was so funny because, like, we saw Solo, I guess, Thursday night. And then Friday we go to the convention and Ray Park is there. And we were just like... This guy's been up to some things. Fortnite 2187. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Have I seen... Yeah, I've seen the mock. Yeah, of course. Finding meme... all. Oh. Finding the Moidians. That'd be a great uh, Star Wars spinoff movie. Uh, do you have a favorite Star Wars movie? Or are they all good in their own way? Um, I would not say every Star Wars movie is good. My favorite is Star Wars Episode 4. Alright, see you, Brian. Take care, bro. Have a good night. Gunray. Viceroy Gunray. I can't remember the line. Maybe one of you guys will. But what does Rune Hako say to uh, the Emperor in like their first ever discussion in episode one that makes him so mad where he's just like, get this guy out of my face. I never want to see him again. I always forget what the line is. Not asking completely logical questions. Undercover boss mass edition. In Finding the Moidians, Nemo's mom dies when Anakin blows up the control ship. It's hard to get the outside angles to come together on the police gunship and have a sturdy structure. I can imagine, because it's not a particularly, like, big vehicle anyways, so yeah, I could see that causing some trouble. Someone find me the line that Rune Hako says to the Emperor that makes him so angry. Were there any figure you were surprised you owned uh, while doing the minifig wall? Uh, not really. <laughs> Nuke Gunray 2. <laughs> now there are two of them. Did you check out Brick Vault's top 10 mock video from yesterday? No, I did not. Is there anything interesting in there? Will the Rise of Skywalker suck? I certainly hope not. I don't think it'll suck. I agree, Jake's Customs. The Boyo stream is lit today. Cool to see the fans here. I'm glad you think so. 
The third will be called Is That Legal? Does it, no one seriously know the line that Rune Hako says to the Emperor? At least some, I think one person should know the line. Lots of buildings, some are amazing piece usage, uh, like a dragonfly, super dope Death Star. Oh, nice. We have nightmares about the rise of Skywalker. Wow. I mean, I'm as skeptical as the next guy, but I've been fortunate enough to not have nightmares. Did you have a dream of your girlfriend dying during childbirth? I love your mock showcase because it's all Star Wars builds. Brick Vault usually has um, at least two mech builds, two large figure builds a week. Ugh. Yeah, I've been contemplating doing like a non Star Wars one, but I'm just, I'm not sure. Like, I see, you know, tons of cool non Star Wars builds I like, but I just, I can just talk so much more about the Star Wars builds, you know? He says, if I don't like The Rise of Skywalker, I'll headcanon it out of existence. I had a dream about the pilot being C-3PO bringing his girlfriend back home from college. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. He says, are you afraid of the Emperor being an echoing movie? I don't know how to feel about it. Oh boy. I've done a few videos on this. Honestly, if you want to know like my really like well well articulated thoughts on this look up i have a video on my channel called um what is it called like it's called like um thoughts on the build up to the rise of skywalker if you just like look up rich boy j rise of skywalker it should come up but um, in a nutshell yes i'm very concerned about the emperor being this film i don't like it at all So they had a group presentation and started laughing. I couldn't talk, tried, but it was random sounds. The whole class started laughing, so embarrassing. I'm sorry to hear that. What was so funny? Maybe we should call Ghostbusters to get rid of palps. I'm down with it. Pre-Disney canon had old palps returning a crap ton of times. I didn't like it then either. What if she had a wedding? Who would come and what would happen? Uh, great question. I don't know. Would you guys show up to Sheev's wedding if he had one? Remember when PZ7, the Imperial Droid, sang in space? That was not one of the best moments in Star Wars Rebels, for sure. That was something, though. It was definitely something. What percentage of the laser have you finished? I'm probably a good 80% done. Dude, don't even get me started on the world between worlds. I love how you spelled it Dave, uh, Felony. That's what I'm going to start calling him. Dave, he's either going to be Dave Felony or Dave fail -oni. Remember Luke? The clone of Luke. Ugh. Can we not, can we not, can we not talk about that? Let's just not talk about that. What's up, Marfan20? 
I gotta know, Mar fan. I've always wanted to ask you this question. What is Mar, and why are you a fan of it? This invasion will gain you nothing. We're a democracy. The people are decided. Take them away. A communications blackout can only mean one thing. We didn't pay the light bill. My name ain't like that. Okay. Is it Marfin? Is it all one word? You just say it fluidly like Marfin? What's up, Wakanda? W Wakandan Lego King. From the building process, circular base. Did you make the landscape digitally? Or did you free build? Landscape was done completely free build. The only thing, I'm trying to think, did I design anything? The only thing like outside of vehicles for Star Killers that I designed digitally was, I guess, the flags. That's literally it. Not even Ghostbusters can stop the Boyo Ghost. Spooky. Hashtag spooky. What if Boba Fett came back as a resistance? Like, I would just ignore it. I'd, like, why? Was that not the line you were looking for? It includes Nuke Gunray basically saying, "Get out!" No, so it's not. So it's not Nuke Gunray saying, "Get out of my face." Um, Rune Hako says something to the Emperor, and then the Emperor says, tells him to get out of his face. Yoda's species being seen in the Mandalorian is goofy. What happened to Ezra gang? Ezra and gang before the OT? Well, I don't know. We got we got a, a Hero Syndulla mention in Rogue One. We saw Chopper in Rogue One, but as far as like where they are during the original trilogy, I don't know. Maybe they all died in a marching band accident. Trevor, why don't you like Ezra? Oh, God. Oh, I'm actually glad that came off. I think Rune Hako says we shouldn't have made this deal. But he says it to the... I'll just look it up later tonight. It would be cool if Jason Sindula was in Star Wars Resistance or The Rise of Skywalker. Oh, God. I hope I never have to see green-eared, hybrid, Twi'lek human boy. Jason Sindula is something out of a nightmare. What a mess. What if Yoda's species are some hardcore gangsters? Like the Huts? We can't take your highness there. The Huts are gangsters. Job of the Hut. Hey, it's Hunter's friend. Did Hunter tell you he got the OG Lego Batman game? He did not tell me that. Did he get it recently? Are you brain dead? I'm not going in there with two Jedi. Send the droid. Send the droid. That's not the lion. Are you watching episode one right now? Just look look at the first scene where the Emperor talks to Newt Gunray and Rune Hako. And it should definitely be there.
Bro, I got like four monster trucks back here. Someone donate? Hey, shout out to Mal. He says, would you do a Spongebob mock? If you would do a Spongebob mock, what would you build? Uh, Glove World. I bought the sticker sheet to the set. I mean, they made a set. I bought the sticker sheet to it. The Glove World would be fun. Um, honestly, I'd probably do the Goo Lagoon. That'd be fun to do. The Goo Lagoon. I saw Phantom Menace a few weeks back. It was enjoyable while simultaneously being a horrible movie. Sounds about right. I, mean, I can appreciate that it's Star Wars, but it's it ain't, it ain't a good movie. Dang it, the full GIF didn't replay in the dono RIP. What was the GIF? I'd really love to build a really detailed crusty crab. That'd be dope. Nineteen year old from Texas, new to your channel, gotta say your channel is awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Dude, I used to love Jimmy Neutron. Into the stars by candy bars. Super powered mine. Canical canine. Bark bark. Yeah, Yoda species would be walking around saying, what's up, my Yoda? What if the rumored 2020 First Order Battle Pack was a regular First Order Trooper, Sith Trooper, Sith Jet Trooper, and regular Jet Trooper? I mean, I guess that'd be nice, but... I'd rather just have all Sith Troopers, since we'll see so many of them in one place. I totally forgot the Sith Jet Trooper was a thing, though. I want to guess the battle pack's going to be two Sith Troopers and two Sith Jet Troopers. That GIF was the Spongebob Bandy episode where the two fish with the flags. 9-11 the blimp, oh god. Oh no. I see 11 Diamond Guy, take care, man. This is the theme song of Jimmy Neutron. Bark! Bark! Woo! That would be lit. What about the Tide Dagger? Tide Dagger would be fun set to get. What character do you relate to most from each trilogy? Um, I guess the original trilogy, probably Luke. Prequels, no one. Sequels, Finn. Do you think there'll be a Jedi or a hidden Jedi Easter egg in the Mandalorian? I guess you mean the TV show. Um, I'm gonna say we probably won't see any Jedi, like at all. As it should be.
All right, take care, Owen. I'm thinking more like once the Trooper 3 First Order crew. Yeah, yeah. We know how that goes. Um, I, the Sith, the Sith, the um, Tide Dagger is definitely part of the Sith fleet. It was referred to in the Visual Dictionary as a Sith vessel. So, it'll definitely be in whatever Sith fleet is supposedly out there. Sixty portions. First order crew pack comes with red and black crane. I'm just gonna have to find the quote. Oh, apparently this is done. All right, let's see how this works. Least favorite Star Wars figure? Anything, any Clone Wars figure. Jay, did you know there's a Rebels Tide pilot with a frown? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm glad you two have disdain for the frown as I do. Dude, those frown troopers are the worst. Since we're getting... We're missing four nights of Ren, do you think they'll get a battle pack? I'm gonna say probably not. As nice as that would be, I don't think Lego's going to do that for us out the gate. Even, uh, I mean, okay, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase that. Um, I hate the Clone Wars faces. Any, any figure with the super stylized Clone Wars face, I'm going to call garbage. A lot of the face, like the face two clones are fine. If you don't take off their helmet. But generally, I do not like the Clone Wars figures. I don't think Lego would make a UCS Kylo shuttle. Um, I don't think anytime soon, but I could see it at some point, yeah. Hey, Jay, um, I used to think I was the only one my HU likes Lego. I know there are people online, but being able to talk to you makes me feel so much better. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that, dude. It really does make me so happy that, you know, people out there who would otherwise not really have anyone to share their love of Lego with because of this community has that. Like, that's incredible to me. Come on. Come on, what the heck? There 
There we go. I think. Come on. Oh, God. Abort. 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 This thing is not want to go in. Holy crap. What is wrong? Oh, I see what's wrong. That is very wrong. Yeah, that's the whole point of these things, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't do this if I wasn't able to interact with you guys. What's up, Han Solo? Where you been, dude? Where you been, dude? I wish Lego would make more frigates. I wonder, honestly, like I it, I kind of wonder if the failure that was that Rebel Frigate they tried to put out from Star Wars Rebels. I wonder if that's kind of, like, soured them on doing frigates. Because that set was a clunker. What if the rumors are true and people are really dying? Well, if the rumors are true and people are really dying, then I guess Anakin's just going to have to learn how to save people from dying. It had Ahsoka, though. That is true. It had that great Ahsoka minifig. I'll give it that. That's pretty much all I'll give it. Do you know where the scaffolding looking piece is in LED Extended? Uh, great question. I don't know. I feel like that's a piece I often look for and can't find. But I would say look up the part number on uh, Bricklink and then just search that in LED. I was fine with Finn's story in The Last Jedi, other than the fact that he didn't spend time with Rey. Like, I love their last, that embrace they kind of have when they finally get to see each other at the end of the film. I think, honestly, I would have preferred for him to have spent more time with Poe. I think that could have been really fun. Right, what the heck goes over there? Jay, do you recommend doing smaller mocks as a beginner YouTuber? I mean, do what you want, honestly. Like, do it whatever's in your capacity. Like, I didn't start off, you know, specifically with small mocks when I was a beginner. So, I just do what you want. Do what you, do something you're excited about. And when people see you're excited about what you're building, they'll get excited as well. How do you know, how do you know you have all the parts you need? Um, I don't actually have all the parts I need for this. But I'm just going to substitute the parts that I don't have with a different color. And then come back to it after I make my orders. And then put the correct colors in. That makes sense. Gee, I know from experience that's not true. What's What do you know that's not true? And thank you, Gabriel Valoria. I grew it myself. Jay, when you're building Geonosis, I'll send you a care package of Dark Orange. I would certainly appreciate that. That would bring warm feelings to my heart.
Tomorrow's my last day of school for the week. Can't wait to build my Pasana mock. That sounds exciting. Alright, see ya, uh, Garrett. I mean, Garrett. See ya, Ethan. Take care. I want to build a tread speeder hanger. That'd be fun. So I got to patch up a few holes, but once I do that, this thing will be mostly good to go. Like I said, there's still some things that are just straight up missing that I'm going to have to add like the actual cannons but for the most part this is gonna be a, a good looking turret I think good looking turbo laser laser I keep thinking that's a Death Star in the background where I was looking at official uh, Lego ad for the UCS ISD on Insta there was a little spilled coffee cup next to the ISD wow Somebody got caught slipping. Oh, that! Yeah, that's a Death Star box. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do this. Maybe it'd be easier to do the outside first and then try to stick to them. Yeah, I'll do that. Jay, what advice can you give on uh, building exact replicas of things in Star Wars? Um, look at a lot of reference material. That's what I do. Lots of reference material. Says so that some Lego stores they have the UCS Pro Star Destroyer with now glass with no glass or anything. People have uh, taken pieces from that surprise and tether so on it. Um, it's glued, so no one's taking anything off of it. People have taken pieces from it. Wow. Maybe it, they just broke off or something. What's up, Crisscross Croc? He says, I use uh, behind the scenes books for vehicle reference. Sculpting a galaxy is amazing. I have to check that out then. Huh. I think this goes here. Here we go. 
Now this is pod racing, guys. Now this is pod racing. They get a degluify gun. Thank you so much, G GK Bricks Lego. That really means a lot, man. Sorry, I'm not super like responsive right now. I'm trying to seal this thing up, but not seal it up too effectively because I know I'm gonna have to um, open it back up once I get the pieces in correct colors. But it's working so far, which is good news. There have been no big surprises, kind of making this thing not come together. There we go. There we go. Don't you just love it when studs line up and just click? Appreciate that crisscross crock. It's not lining up. Seven likes. Can we get an eight? Yes, please. Please like the video, boyos. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Here we go. It says, going to the Lego store this Sunday. Any advice on how to fill up cups? Um, really, the only piece you can use to fill up cups strategically is, like, two by two, fours, and sixes. But just look up tutorials on YouTube. Like, anytime I fill up a cup, I use this one tutorial uh, for filling up two by fours. And it, it works pretty well for me. To fill up cups, just take your time. Yeah. If you really want to maximize the amount that you're getting in a cup, it's going to take you some time. Dream Lego Star Wars set. I guess at Geonosian Arena. Any plans for getting that Cloud City Lando? Not really, no. Hopefully I'll just luck into finding it, like a great deal or something. That's pretty much the extent of my plans to get that figure. What's up, Jedi Bob? God. I was so happy to see you and then you started praising episode 3. Yeah, no, we need those Geonosian creatures. Uh, 
Has Lego ever helped you get through tough times in your life? Um, I mean, yeah. I, feel, I mean, I guess I feel like I'm doing it all the time. So just anything I might be dealing with, Lego is kind of where a lot of my enjoyment comes from. Um, with really any given thing. But yeah, dude, like, Lego's a very big part of my happiness. And Bomb says he has the PSAT tomorrow. Good luck, dude. Just remember your teachings. But yeah, episode three is garbage. I'm just going to throw that out there. Says, Jay, we should have a uh, prequel discussion stream soon. I have a whole lot of new opinions since I finally watched all three of them. That's fair. I guess we can do that. Where is... I mean, it is garbage, but we can talk about that. We can have an in-depth discussion about that at some point down the line. I love how Han Solo's defense is episode 8 is hot garbage. Okay. Rather than coming up with substantive reasons as for why episode 3 might not be garbage... It's deflect. Deflect, deflect, deflect. Boyo Ghost is coming. I was glad to be almost done with this thing. Says, okay, I do not want to compare prequels to other films. I want to talk about them on their own. That's fair. Alright. Man, this thing is heavy. Holy crap. Episode 3 feels like it has a soul and has a bunch of memorable moments. The lightsaber battles are great and Anakin's turn was great to watch. See, I'd go the opposite. I, I feel like the prequels in general are very soulless movies. Like, it's just the epitome of some dude who just wanted to make more money off his franchise. Which is why the scripts... Are all just written in one go. Like, I find it really hard to believe that this was some sort of passion project for George Lucas. Like, I don't know. This bra, I was really invested in Anakin's character. I mean, that's fair. Like, it's Anakin Skywalker who wouldn't be invested in his character. George has always been a bad, disgusting writer. I mean, exactly. And the prequels are the forefront of that.
Hopefully this will work as I have foreseen it. You guys are going to get a glimpse at the turbo laser. I don't even know like what's the easiest way to do this. Okay, maybe just doing it this way. Here we go. It's like very... It looks like a dog almost. It looks like something from Minecraft. Alright. I think I'm going to try to take an approach that if you can enjoy a movie I don't like, then good for you because you enjoy it. But I'm not going to try to hate on people who like a Star Wars movie. I don't. Do you consider, like, someone debating you or, um, do you consider someone who, like, argues with you about whether or not a movie is good, them hating on you for liking a Star Wars film? Episode 3 is only good with the context of the Clone Wars show. I won't even give it that much. I mean, Clone Wars, I guess, makes it a little bit more interesting. But it doesn't change the fact that the Clone Wars interpretations of those characters are so much better than the Revenge of the Sith interpretations of those characters. What are you working on? I'm working on the turbo laser. Can you guys... Oh yeah, you can see it. It's right here. This is what I'm working on. It's right here. Is that not obvious? I think the prequels can sit on their own without Clone Wars Revenge specifically. I mean, I, I don't... I don't know. The prequels... The Cl Clone Wars doesn't do much for me for the prequels. Because I, I still view the prequels as their own thing. I think the, the Clone Wars helps the context of the time period, but not necessarily the prequels in themselves. I think all the films stand on their own. I mean, I think all the films should stand on their own. Like, I don't, I don't think those films are, are good, though, if that's fair. Alright. I don't know how... Well, here, we'll see. I want to let it be known that I'm not the one who brought up the prequels on this stream. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they all have a purpose. The question is... Is, are they good? Honestly, I think out, out of all the Star Wars films, I think Episode 1, well, all of the trilogy Star Wars films, I'd probably say Episode 1 is the most skippable. The, the one that, like, is the most contextually insignificant. I mean, yeah, I guess we learn where Darth Vader's from, which, I mean, that's not super crucial to understanding his character, given what we see in Episode 2. Like, the fact that he, like, you get more of, like, how his, what happened with his mom impacted him in episode two than episode one, I feel. So, I mean, you could have just started with episode two for the prequels. Especially, like, nothing of consequence happens in episode one. Like, new villains introduce, new villain dies. The Emperor is doing stuff, but it's not clear at all, like, how it's, you know, relevant or significant. Jay, how do you... How do you... Well, what? I watched the first season, really enjoyed it. I would love to see the rest of the story. I need to watch Resistance Season 2. I still haven't seen it yet.
how do you watch Resistance? Oh, um, watch DisneyXD.com. Basically, log in with your cable provider, I believe. Jeez. Qui-Gon has no character, basically. No one in the prequels has a character. They're all they're all the same person. They all talk the same, they all act the same. I guess Anakin's slightly more angry, but I mean Obi-Wan's pretty angry too. Bro, if you can't handle the prequel heat, stay out of the kitchen. I find that so interesting, like like I can I mean, people will bash the sequels. Like, that's just something people will do. And, like, I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You know, I'm not gonna... It's not gonna frustrate me. I'm not gonna get upset over it. I mean, you feel the way about Star Wars, state your point. You're entitled to that. I'm entitled to state my point. We can talk about it. Um, so, this thing is, like, barely staying together because it's really meant to be connected to a base plate, but, um, this is what I got so far. I can turn a little bit here. So, I mean, you can imagine this giant gap won't be right here during the final build, but... This is generally what the turbulation looks like. Like I still, I still have like a lot of small detail pieces to fill in, like tiles and such. But um, this is a pretty good idea of what you can expect. Um, still got tons of stuff to fill in here, but I'm super happy with it. Like the size is great, the shape is great. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. This came out actually pretty sweet, I think. Still got to add the giant cannons that stick out from it. I have one of them kind of built. Not really, actually. Um, so, yeah, this is what we got. It's super late, so I'm probably going to call it a night after this. But um, I actually agree, Seth. I wish Starkiller stuck around. It'd be nice if that was just kind of a thing throughout the uh, sequels. JJ had to blow it up, though. Um, but, yeah, this thing really came together super well i think can't wait to see it on the stage so tomorrow you guys can actually actually expect a um an, an update for star killer uh, i'm gonna probably do a little bit of work on this tomorrow morning just to make it look more polished maybe i'll attempt to do some of the cannons on the front and of course place some orders because i need you know some detail parts to fill in some of the gaps but for the most part it's looking pretty dang good so I am a happy guy. So that's really all I got for you guys tonight. Hope you enjoyed checking out this progress on Starkiller Base. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for staying up with me. It's already midnight. It's already tomorrow. Um, how do you feel about J.J. Abrams saying F it when it comes to episode 9 story in an interview? You have to give me some context to that because I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Uh, keep up the good work for the mock. I currently don't have space or funds for large mocks, so I'm sticking to smaller builds. Uh, design an updated type bomber. That sounds fun. Yeah, man, work with what you got, for sure. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to close out the stream, guys. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Make sure you check out the Starkiller Base update tomorrow. It'll be a good one. It'll be a really good one. Good night, everybody.